Good morning. Welcome to the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast Episode 1. Today is October 18th, 2020. It's about 8.15 a.m. here in Pasadena, California. So first, in the statement footers that go out in the All Sports Market emails, at the bottom there is a link to the API Toolkit. That is the toolkit that you need to begin building uh, programs around the new sports economy, basically to plug into the marketplace. Uh, that's what sites like eBay and Amazon, etc., that's what they use to build their ecosystems. So again, DraftKings put out a bunch of stock and fleeced the public for another billion, driving down their stock price. This seems to be par for the course, especially right before an earnings release. The third quarter earnings are due out any day now, so expect to see even more losses at a higher rate. So this filling of the Treasury is to continue to cover those losses. I'll be sending out a Sports Vote campaign shipping update late next week, so you know when to expect the items that have been ordered in the last month. So I'm still accumulating those orders since the store was opened last month. Sports ratings are down 50% or more across the board uh, this season so far, measuring this season. Some as high as 90%. Not surprising given the quality of the product and the incessant advertising of gambling offerings and other stuff which just frustrate the users and frustrate the viewers. So in the last uh, update I talked about the, actually it was the video, I talked about the progression of the economy across the computer industry and I left something out. It's actually the computer industry, the internet, and mobile. So that's the per progression from computer through internet to mobile and at each stage the difficulty level has gone up exponentially so that compounds the problem. So an update on the Seth Leon case which again at the top of this I want to say that this doesn't have any impact on the uh, ASM users, uh, shareholders, or or that. It is purely directed towards me personally. So the judge who refused to uh, let me actually answer the case uh, 10 years ago and violated my constitutional rights has refused to relieve the default after being given a second chance 10 years later. So now it goes up to appeal in the California system, which ironically is something that he told me, or one of the clerks or judges along the way told me, that the way to deal with this matter was by appealing it through the California courts. So, so be it. That's what exactly what will happen now, and that's on top of the federal appeal on the other side. So now there are two appeals. Um, this can go on for years and years, and probably will. Uh, we're not going to stop until this is put down. My constitutional rights were violated, and it's going to be fixed at some point. And I'm also looking at, uh, along with the team, looking at uh, counterclaims on both the federal and the state side. So rather than just playing defense, we'll see if we can uh, give Mr. Leon a few things to worry about. So the unemployment rate, 15.4%, uh, that's just a simple math problem. You divide the number of unemployment claims by the workforce. It's not magic. Um, my estimation is to add about 5% on top of that for people who gave up looking for a job, never qualified, or some other situation like that. So that's about 20%. I am going to be looking at uh, doing podcasting, including guests, but it's not going to be done right now. It's the same thing with the YouTube channels that's been mentioned in prior communications. Uh, we want to do that on both sides. Um, have guests and actually offer uh, sub channels. So that will be coming. So I'm going to set up the Ask Me Anything session uh, probably the next 30, 45 days, somewhere in that range. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to ask questions and you want me to answer them on this uh, podcast, I'll, I'll do it. Just send them to support at allsportsmarket.com. Support at allsportsmarket.com. I will read them out verbatim and I will answer them live, no matter what's in it. So you write it, I'll answer it here. So the deficit, the U.S. budget deficit, $3.1 trillion, the highest in the history of the country. Just factual statement. And a new concept, uh, just a branding idea, really, at this point. I'm kicking around to see if it makes sense. 
uh, sports performance investing. So sports performance investing, something to kick around. So I'll be launching the campaign uh, toolkit uh, that I've been talking about in the prior updates, the Sports Vote campaign toolkit on that website, thesportsvote.org, thesportsvote.org. Again, thesportsvote.com goes to the YouTube channel. Thesportsvote.net goes to the uh, online petition, to the uh, online petition for sports markets, and thesportsvote.org goes to the collaboration site. So that will be released on Halloween, the 31st of October, right ahead of uh, Election Tuesday. So thank you for your time. Stay safe, and I will release the next episode in, in the coming days. Bye now.